my dear sisters, during the season of Lent, the church proposes especially three good acts to manifest our conversion. You know it already, fasting, prayer, and also almsgiving. Sometimes, most of the concentration is on prayer and fasting. Almsgiving is the last one. But then, more than almsgiving, we need to manifest through acts of kindness our love for our neighbor, love for our community members, love for the poor and the abandoned, love for those who are in need. That aspect sometimes is often forgotten. What the Lord asks of His disciples is this, you should be more forgiving. You should be more gentle during the season of Lent. It is good that you have to pray, that you have to fast, you have to practice abstinence. But loving kindness and deeds of loving kindness are very, very important, especially during these first three days of the beginning of Lent. We are reminded of it repeatedly. In the first reading of yesterday, you might have listened to how the Lord says that He is not bothered about their fasting. Even though they fast and pray, the Lord said yesterday in the in the passage from the book of Isaiah that He will not listen to their prayers. We should once again Listen now, fasting like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. You fast only to quarrel and to fight and to hit with wicked fist. What is the use of fasting and then getting angry with everybody? Better you don't fast only. You fast only to get angry and even to hit with wicked fist. Fasting like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose, a day for a man to humble himself? Is it to bow down his head like a rush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will you call this fast and a day acceptable to the Lord? Now the Lord says what type of fast he wants. Is not this the fast that I choose? to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. Is not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked, to cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh. See the different kind of expectations from the Lord during the season of Lent. So much of acts of kindness. And in today's first reading, once again, the theme is continued. And the Lord says, what is the type of Sabbath if He wants us from us? If you turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of the Lord honorable, if you honor it, not going your own ways, or seeking your own pleasures, or talking idly, then you shall take delight in the Lord. How to keep the Sabbath? Walk in the way of the Lord. Don't talk about others unnecessarily. That is the kind of Sabbath I want. Do good. Walk in the ways of the Lord. Again, the trust on the fraternal love that is manifested in this passage. Coming to today's Gospel, we see different actions. Jesus calls Levi, Matthew, the tax collector. Matthew follows him. And the Pharisees murmur against him. Against Jesus, against Matthew, against the disciples. Look at the heart of Jesus. 
they saw in Matthew a sinner who was enriching himself by collaborating with the Romans, by being their servant, by extracting as much money as possible from the people. But Jesus saw in him the possibility. He had true apostle and evangelist what he could become. And he loved him and called him. And the total surrender of Matthew, he rose, left everything and followed the Lord. See the Burma, like the elder brother in the parable of the prodigal son, people are all murmuring. And Jesus says, what matters is looking at people with love, collaborating with people even if they don't have many of the talents that you expect, accepting them. We see already Matthew. He had a lot of money. He makes use of his money by hosting a banquet and makes use of the occasion to introduce many more sinners and poor people to Jesus. Later on, by writing the gospel, he will introduce Jesus to so many millions and millions of people. Already he starts his work. The kindness of Jesus, compassion of Jesus, understanding of Jesus, resembles the understanding of the prodigal son's father. Sometimes we behave like the elder brother in the parable of the prodigal son, like these Pharisees, all the time murmuring and criticizing. So let us today, my dear sisters, pay attention to this other side of the season of Lent. Be loving, be gentle, be understanding towards others. There will be greater joy through our community life during this season. We should forgive, we should encourage, we should offer words of consolation, encouragement. May that meaning be rightly understood and we walk this pilgrimage of Lent towards the great feast of Easter. Then we will be more and more like Jesus and be transformed people. Amen.